Anastatech have been a very hard time for every company. Some warehouse, they have 10,000 of stock. And during stock check, they need to have different workforce like account departments, admin departments, IT departments, and warehouse departments together to perform their stock take. Some company, they intend to use a terminal device, but they always hit the problem lights. First, devices are too costly. Second, there's no device to be able to direct communicate with their existing system. Thirdly, is they are still using spreadsheet. They don't have a proper inventory software. So, due to all, all this reason, many of the company still using pen and paper to record their static. Because of this traditional method, operator will consume a lot of time to input their data to reconcile their talk stock tech. This has caused inaccuracy in their stock report due to human mistake. Human will require spend a long time to perform their stock take every time. And these also affect daily operations because during the stock stock check they need to stop operations they need to stop receiving and their shipping activities in this video i'm going to show you the proper sop and the solutions to address your inventory stock take we will begin with this flow chart no matter how good your system is your companies must perform this physical stock inventory periodically if you are a company not using any inventory software at the moment, but you would like to have a device for your stock check process, then the following video we will show you the SOP. Prior to your stock check, first thing you need to freeze your warehouse activities. Means you need to stop all your deliveries from the warehouse and also segregate all newly received goods where they will not be counted otherwise your inventory record will be affected during your inventory stock check now we will start the SOP processes first thing an Excel will be given to fill up your closing stock inventory on hand second this template will then import into the barcode device Third, user will need to print a stock tag or a stock sheet with barcode for their scanning purpose. And this tag should be sequentially numbered so that they can be individually tracked as part of the counting process. Number four, then we will start to sync the data to the terminal device to start our scanning and counting process. The warehouse user will count the inventory and also mark down the information on the count tag. One copy of the tag is affixed to the inventory while the team retains the other copy. After completed, the warehouse user will sync back the data from the device to the server. Upon completion of a count area, each count team will then return the copy to the inventory card. Who will verify that all tags were returned to them? And the warehouse manager will reconcile the on hand versus the count quantity so that they will investigate what is the unusual result. If the variance is within the tolerance quantity or tolerance level, then the warehouse manager will update the system and release their stock for their daily operations. Else, it will generate a recount sheet for the user to do a recount and repeat the same process from the device again. Okay, so I hope you should end up with a clear picture of how is everything controlled in this physical stock check process. That's all for my video sharing today. My name is Vivian and I see you in my next video. Bye.